Hello, and thank you for your interest in our paper. One in five patients with chronic spontaneous urticaria has IgE to tissue transglutaminase 2. On behalf of all my co-authors, let me run you briefly through the major points of our report. Why did we do this study? We know that chronic spontaneous urticaria comes with IgE autoantibodies, autoallergy, and we also know that some of the autoallergens in chronic spontaneous urticaria, for example, thyroid peroxidase or interleukin-24. Now, transglutaminase 2, or TG2, is the autoantigen in celiac disease, and TG2 is increased in the lesional skin mast cells of patients with chronic spontaneous urticaria. So we wanted to know if patients with chronic spontaneous urticaria have IgE autoantibodies to TG2. Are they allergic to their own TG2? What did we do? We measured IgE against TG2 by Capture ELISA in 160 patients with chronic spontaneous urticaria and 54 healthy controls. And we then looked at possible links of IgE and TTG2 levels and clinical features and laboratory markers. Now, what do we find? You can see clearly the green dots that chronic spontaneous urticaria patients have higher IgE and TTG2 levels. And there are some patients with very high levels. You can also see that more CSU patients than healthy controls have IgE to TG2. But we did not find a correlation of these levels of IgE against TG2 with clinical markers or laboratory markers, including other auto-anti-IgE antibodies. So, we now know that patients with chronic spontaneous urticaria, about 20% of them, have IgE2 TG2, and we want to confirm that in a bigger study, in a multicenter study. We also need to test this IgE against TG2 for its function on mast cells. And we want to look at IgE to transglutaminase 3. And finally, we need to characterize the clinical relevance. So this is only the first step to better characterize autoallergy to TG2 and its relevance in chronic spontaneous urticaria. So thank you very much and please go and read the entire paper and we would love your feedback on this report. Thank you very much.